Hey guys, Ari Swirl here, and welcome back to another RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. Uh, in this one, I'm gonna try and show you how to do a variables event, which basically you can use it for like a lock combination sort of thing. Uh, I've done it in my like game. I found this out like only a couple of days ago, so I'm I'm pretty new at variable stuff. So basically. It's not going to be anything difficult. I'm just going to do something along the lines of just a person like this dude, whatever. And then he's going to say, Oh crap, that's from the last time. Uh, oh my god. I cannot spell today. Correct number com. And I've actually noticed that these things on the boxes, I never really took much notice. They're the margins. So if you have a face graphics, if it gets past, if it exceeds that, then it won't show up. But, yeah, that's, wait, that's if you don't, what? Hang on a minute. If face graphics are used, if face graphics aren't. Oh wait, yeah, no mind. Hang on a minute, I'll give you. No, it doesn't show up. I don't get it. Um, give me the correct number combination, and I'll give you something good. Oops. Right. Generally, what? Well, what I did on my game anyway. I put like. I just did it on the map sort of thing, like just got something that you could put something onto, like an inscription or something. Who cares, we'll use a snowy sign, <laughs> makes no sense, well, so we'll use that one. Uh, and then you just create an event on the sign, just saying something, there is a number here, and then you do that and then like an, a random you could do any I don't know how many digits is the max but I'll just do a random one by pressing four buttons okay 1865 right and then what you wanna do is go on control variables right this is the weird part you have to call it like something that's not the weird part uh, let's just say sign random number I can't think of anything else to call it Right, this is the weird pit. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Bit. B ah, God. Bit. Right, you don't want to actually set it to what number you put, so I don't want to set it to that. Because, if I do... Right, I'm just going to set it to zero. Um, You don't want to actually set it to that, because if you go on this, and then go on input number, you actually have to use a variable for that number. So you'd want to put it to four, and then you just have to remember what number you put on it. And then you just do a conditional branch, and then on this you go on variable, random sign number is equal to, and that, that's where you put your number. So if it's equal to 165, it'll work. If it isn't, it won't work. Or at least that's what should happen. Um, and I'll just put, if it's correct, if it matches it, then correct. Here you go. And then I'll just give him some gold or something increase 500 whatever if wrong just incorrect try again and if you re if you want to be really clever after that you could it, like involve a switch oh crap I've, I've, I didn't get rid of that one oh well um, that's from like one of my early tutorials and then after that what you want to do is put something like wrong number given or wrong code given actually yeah and then you could put wrong code given and then switch that on right that's fine let's just actually play test it for now I'm just gonna change the music There we go, whatever. And mute this. Ah! There. 
They mute it, because I can't hear anything in the background. Shut up. Yeah, this doesn't have anything to do with music, so I can, I can just mute it. Right, now if I go on this, and then go over to the side... I freaking hell, I knew that would happen. Right, when a, when a sign is normally set, it's below characters. You want it to same char as characters, otherwise you cannot trigger the text. Which is really annoying. Right, so just have it like that and it'll be fine. Now what you want to do, is what I was supposed to do in the first time. Just go over to the sign, there was a number here, 1865. Give me the correct number combination and I'll give you something good. Right, and now it's set to 0000000. zero, 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 zero. On the input number screen, if you put the code, or the variable used, to the code that's on that sign, but on the variable when you set it, if you actually set that to 1865, that's his, that is what, what, that is what would pop up. But if it's, it should not work, yeah, there we go. Incorrect, try again. Oh shit. Right, so it's 1, 1, 8, ah, 6, 5. Correct, here you go. Right, it gave us money, but right, there, but right. I keep saying right, I don't want to. This is where you can go really clever. Well, not really clever, you can just make this number always regenerate, so to speak. And then if it's the wrong code given on here, you could put uh, the same text, there is a number here. And then just put another randomly generated number that's 47864. And then, yep, control variables, random sign number, which is, uh, zero. So if that was set to, set to 1865, that is what it would show up as when it comes with the input number, like, thing. Right, there's a number here, 7864. Right, yeah, that's, that's fine. 7864. You don't need to actually set the variable. You just go, new page, and then not on switch, just do the exact same as you did before. Go on people. I think it was people too, it was that guy. And then just put um I think care to tell Oh wait yeah, me the oop, the code again and then just put the switch to wrong code given so he'll only uh, he'll on, so he'll only say that after you've like put in the wrong code. And then just put for the new code you do the exact same as before which is wrong code given, and then the variable, random sign number, this time it's going to be equal to 7864. And that will be the correct dialogue. Here you go. Let it be, actually I'm just going to copy it off here. Oops. Uh, copy. Paste. And then copy. Paste. Okay, but yeah, you could just you could go on with that for age for ages. It, it just require a lot of events. Right, let's try this then. So, right, so there's a number one eight six five. I'm just gonna get it wrong on purpose. So two one one zero. Incorrect. Try again. And now this should work. Hopefully, no. I keep forgetting to change the freaking event. Ugh, that is annoying me already. There we go. Let's try again. Well, at least we know if it's worked because I couldn't use the action button on it the second time. That is so dumb, though. I hate it. All right, try again. The number here, one eight six five. All right, get it wrong. Zero, whatever. All right, try again. There's a number here, seven eight six four. There we go. Get to tell me the code again. Oh shit! I haven't put input number ever. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I haven't put the input number there. That's the only down, the only bad thing that I did there. No. This is the final test, and if it works, I can call it the end of this. And it should work. I've done everything the exact same, I just forgot the input number. Because there was so much going on. <laughs> Alright, there's a number here, 1865. That's fine, that's still working. Oh no, it's wrong. Let's go back to the sign. Oh, it's, a ch it's changed, 7864. Try again. Okay, tell me the code again. There we go. So if it's 7... Eight, six, four. Correct. There we go. 
So yep, that is how you set up like a simple variable which can like make it can allow you to make sort of like little puzzles. And I'll do like another variables tutorial n like after I finish this one. But this next one will be a bit different. Right, so until next time, see you guys later.